Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Am. This is going to be a lot of PG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we run. As we run from here, this is a terrible place. I can't get, I can't kill this guy. I tried everything I could. I, I checked online to see if other people had strategies. Uh, apparently, there, there's a very uh, easy way to dispel all of his spells. Uh, apparently, my breach doesn't work. Uh, at least n n never. I've never seen it work. Uh, the easy way is with uh, the spell magic. Uh, and everybody, well, I have three guys that can cast the spell magic on him uh, right at the beginning, which is very, go very good. Right before he starts casting his magic. Uh, but then after that, that the problem would be to stop his time stop, because after he casts time stop, basically that's it. Uh, there is a way to prevent time stop from working as he intended it to, which is to basically get out. <laughs> And I did that as well. I got a, 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 a I'm gonna show you. Uh, no, I don't want to click load. Otherwise, I'm gonna save. Yeah, uh, I got a save over here. Temp save right there uh, where I did exactly that. So the guy is right down the stairs. He's cast all of his spells. Not all of his spells, but most of his spells. He still has like some immunity spells and whatnot. He's got a lot of spells. That guy. Leeches are just awful. They are by far, I think, in my in my opinion, they're the worst enemy in this game, and uh, we're really, really not ready to take on them. We're only level 11, <laughs> I mean, Minsk is level 9 still, so yeah, we're, I mean, yeah, we're not ready, we're not ready for this, but the problem is, uh, something I didn't know before, um, is this, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm, if I can see by mouse, of course, uh, let's see, a dispel magic removes magical spells effects upon anyone within the area, so anyone, and that's good, yo, so this includes effects given from spells, potions, and certain magical items such as wands. It does not affect enchanted magical items or spell protection such as spell turning and spell deflection, which we know this is the only thing. It's only the the, the spell protections that do not work on these things uh, because they they're set in the spell description. The thing is, the chance of succeeding is determined by the level of the caster and the level of the magic being being dispelled. So the spell, uh, the base spell chance of successful dispelling is 50%, and for every level that the caster of the dispel magic is above the original caster, so not the magic, it's the caster, its chance of success increases by 5%. For every level that the caster of the dispel magic is below the original caster, his chance of success decreases by 10%. However, despite the differences in levels, there is always at least a 5% chance of failure. So basically, he is probably like level 30. That guy's devil definitely level 30, because leeches are awful. He's an elemental leech uh, to boot, so it's it's really, really, really tough. So there's only like a 5%, and in like 5 attempts, I haven't seen it happen once, the dispel effects. Uh, so basically, there we go. Uh, and it's not possible. Um, it's it's a shame. Oh, this is an inn? Oh, we're going into the inn. Uh, this is an inn, apparently. Um, yeah, so it is not possible to do it properly. Uh, we'll come back, though. It's right there. It's it's ready. I'm gonna close the door just to signify that I have not been there effectively. Uh, and uh, she has hopefully... Oh, the door is barred from the other side. Oh, it's for a quest later. I don't remember which one, but it is. Uh, she still has the luck, though, which is awesome. Oh, that's right. The, yeah, in this in this save, I, I, uh, I didn't prepare the... The dispel magics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I did it. I did it uh, off camera. Uh. Holy crap! That is something else right there. That is me being killed in the face. Well, I am not gonna do anything about that. Let's get out of here and uh, let's go over there because we need to see those doors. <sighs> Lich. Liches. I don't. I. It's. Damn it, Larian Studios, why do you make me say Lich now? It's not Lich, it's Lich. It's Lich. At least I think so. Um, let's uh, oh, close the door and let's continue with our adventure. This thing is going to have a trap in here, and we're going to need to find it, and it's going to be a mess. Let's just open like the door. I don't like cities much. I know. They're built. How can I help? Oh, okay, yeah, see, that's much better. Save the game and see what we have here. Mm -hmm. There we go. See, you can, you can do things. You can do things. Oh, the open door, the, you open the door and peer through, but you see nothing. There is no room, no house, just empty darkness. It is a bizarre thing to behold. You do not know what would happen if you stepped through. Well, hopefully uh, we're not going to find a lick, fight a lick, but we can't go over there. Lich, damn it. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, okay, so these guys are terrible at pathfinding. Uh, apparently that thing is... Uh, 
on a different uh, level. Mm -hmm. Let's go over there. Oh, levels. Levels, let's go to the inn. I want to go to the inn. I want to rest. Actually, I don't want to rest. I think we... Are you kidding me, guys? Right now. How do you go up? What? Okay, let's have you Minsk point, do this. I punch. You can't go there. There's no passage? What is this? Why can't I go to Delazar's Inn? Oh, because the entrance is to, through there. Okay, I see. I see. Let's go. Let's go in there. Let's talk to people. Let's do things and be assaulted, probably. Seas are sure rough this time of year. I be Delis, the leader of my mercenary fellows here out of Riatavin. If you want to keep your face on straight, you'll stay well clear of us. Ah, uh, well, with a stench like yours staying clear of you and your pals will not be a problem. Are you trying to be funny? I suggest you apologize, little boy, before things get heated. Well, did I say stench? I meant putrid, nauseating, undead, repelling, vomit-inducing aroma. Sorry, I I'm apologizing. Oh, you ask for it, boy. Did I now? Did I? Well, you're gonna die. Because I am chaotic neutral. And Jahira agrees with me. Don't you, Jahira? Don't you? Okay, so let's see. You are gonna switch to that. We're good. These guys are not gonna be any problem. I actually got the Lich in one of my attempts. I got him down to near death. But it's only because... Uh, before... It's only because I cheesed it. Uh, it's the attempt save that I showed you. Uh, and uh, it didn't work still. Okay, that's all good. That's all good. I, get, I have... Uh, no, not that. I have... I don't have the spell magic. I do. There it is. Remove magic. That's the one. Go right there and see how that works. Minsk is now being attacked. That guy. That's not going to work. Is it? Nope. Minsk is uh, actually in a little bit of a pinch. I am going to be able to heal him, but that might go very badly. Uh, and down he goes. Holy crap. Okay. Let's do that again. But this time around, we're going to focus on the mage right off the bat. Except for Minsk. Hmm. It's actually, we're, this is, we're not doing well, are we? I mean, after, after the last episode, oh, who's missing? Who's missing? Nobody's missing. Who's missing? Nobody's missing. Oh, it's me, Marcus. Um, okay. Um, so save the game. Let's cast. You have party heal, don't you? Uh, let's go with that. Uh, that's going to take care of you. I'm going to put that over there so he can use it. Uh, right there. Perfect. Next up, uh, let's go with um, save the game just in case. Let's go. Defensive harmony. Uh, bless. Bless would be nice. Uh, Minsk, you have this one that I cast before as well. You don't have, you don't have haste, which is a shame because I used it already. Uh, and I'm gonna go with minus spell protection or global invulnerability and resist fear. And that is gonna be our set of buffs. It's not amazing. But it is... Who's guy? Oh, no! I'm sorry! Sorry! No, no, no. I'm not gonna cast that. Oh, boy. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Well, let's be here. Uh, and uh, let's focus on the mage. On the mercenary of Ryatvin. Or whatever his name is. I'm gonna send Minsk in here first, though. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see how things go. They talked to me before. Why are not they talk? Why are not they not talking to me now? Hello? That's weird. The seas are sure rough this time of year. They are, but you're gonna be even more roughed up. Okay, so Minsk is gonna attack that guy. You guys are gonna attack this guy over here. Anoman is gonna attack this guy. Actually, you can silence him. That would be really good, but you're probably not gonna be able to do that. But let's see how, how it goes. No. Okay, no effect indeed. Okay, it's not a problem. Jahira, heal him up. Right there. Okay, so you are going to dispel his magic or remove his magic, whatever it is. It's on the first page. Yeah, there it is. Okay, do that. That didn't work. Well, I'm already casting the spell. We're silenced. They are not. Come on, cast this. Oh, she's silenced. Holy crap, this place is terrible. They're killing us all. And we're barely injuring them. These pirates are terrible. Okay, let's forget about that then. Damn it. Come on. Well, whatever. Did I talk to these guys? Is okay. it important, peasant? What do you think of Lord Feveron? Is this the one we were supposed to come here and see? Oh, how should I know, my dear Lady Diana? Ah, these commoners all look alike to me. 
Oh, yes, that's true. Dusty and sweaty, each and every one of them. It does upset my delicate nature to be so near to them sometimes. You are a, v a brave, brave soul, my sweet. Oh, thank you, darling. It is so kind of you to say such. No, not at all, not at all. Now, do send the smelly peasants away, please, yes? Oh, yes, I had almost forgotten. Thank you, Lord Feveron. Mm. Go away, peasant. Choo choo. Yeah, right. Um, okay, well, let's uh, get out of here and go to the cemetery. We need to go to the cemetery, which is not an easier place to do, but I think it will be easier than this place, to be honest, because this is very high level, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we have been to the slums. We have explored the slums thoroughly. We have been everywhere, really, but uh, except for there, the graveyard district, which is where we're going. Look at that. So we have, we have been everywhere. Oh. Everywhere in Baldur's Gate. Oh, Miss Nally, allow me to show you to the funeral. Yeah, because we came here for that. Hello there. They are waiting for you upstairs. I don't think they are, sir. Hello there. At least he doesn't say, I will slit your throat. As sometimes they do. Oh, he changed his... <laughs> he changed his mind. Uh, actually, it's a good place, a good thing, because we get a thing over there before we uh, go into the cemetery. Yeah, this is a fancy cemetery. Um, and we got, we got, we're able to bypass that. Oh, hi. Let's send her in. Who do I need to talk to? Lady? Lady Tandolan? Stand where you're at, peasant. Oh, Lord Dianese did fraternize with some colorful company, I must say. Uh, not what I would expect from a gentleman's funeral. Oh, Nalia, I've heard how you have been in dreadful straits since your father's death. I can only imagine the horrors you have endured. Miss Tandolan, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, but my dear, the wandering like a... The wandering like a gypsy, the company you have had to keep. Isaiah has painted quite the unsavory picture. Oh, he has, has he? He talks far too much for my comfort, Miss Tandolan. Ah, uh, if you would excuse me. Of course, my dear, I wish you peace. Uh, so who, who exactly was painting... Uh, the, the, the thing, the unsavory picture, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah is that guy or girl over there, he guy. Nalia, my dear, I have been worried sick about you. Have you now? Oh, no. It's Isaiah. Let's get out of here. <laughs> no, do not turn away. It has been so long since I've seen your face. So regal and uh, a bit dirty, actually. Uh, have you seen, have you been slumming again? Naughty. Oh, kindly place a cork in it, Isaiah. Isaiah? I think I say Isaiah. I'm going to wait with Isaiah. I do not slum. Foppish fools look for a thrill slum. I help people. Oh, of course. One must have one's little hobbies. But it is just about time you honored our um, agreement. Uh, the honor of your house is at stake, as you recall. My house? What house? Your family directs my father's holdings as theirs. Uh, that suggests my name as... Lost what nobility he'd had? If my rights to control my of, of my father's dealings are void, then why are the conditions that built those dealings not? Do you plan to release control of the keep to me? Well, I... Uh, I thought not. No, I don't think I will be marrying you, Isaiah. I do not have to, nor do I need to. And above all else, I do not find your company enjoyable. Oh, you may be entitled to ruin your own reputation, but I will not. Have you, drag have you dragging me down, as well as for de by denying what is mine by rights? I will not stand for it! What? Was that a threat? Huh. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with that one. You had best stop short of intimidating tactics. I do not put up with such things. A that's me talking. That's not Nalia. I think that's me talking. No, that was Nalia. I chose for Nalia. Uh, for some reason. Uh, uh, because it's her talking, but there we go. It can speak! Nalia trained you well! Well, apparently the game didn't recognize it as me, but it was Marcus that talked. Yeah. Uh, it can speak! Nalia trained you well! Oh, did I provoke you? Your reaction will be violent, no doubt. On your first move, I shall have my guard cut you to pe- What is going on here? Who are these? Oh, hello, Nalia. My deepest sympathies to you this day. Your father was a fine man. Says Lord Farthington Rowanel. Wasn't this the guy? That uh, was guarding. I don't remember. I don't remember. Farthington. I don't remember. Was he the chief of the guard or something? I don't remember. Thank you, Lord Roanel. He would be pleased to hear such praise. Stop this, Lord Roanel business. I'll not have such formalities. Farthington is my name among friends. Farthy, if you, if out of sight of the missus. <laughs> oh, Lord Roanel, you are a positive cad. 
Yes, well... Oh, Isaiah says you abandoned your home to wander as a peasant. Really, if your estate needs guards or accountants, I would be happy to... Isaiah said what? Abandoned? Uh, it was r rested. Rested out from under me. What has it... Thank you, father. Ba oh, that's his father. Okay. Oh, yeah, Ronal. I should have figured. Uh, Lord uh, Farthington Ronal. Yeah, that is it. Uh, thank you, father, but uh, shouldn't you be getting back to uh, the guests? Do not mind Nalia. She's still somewhat lost without her father. You understand? Oh, quite, quite. All my best, my dear. Isaiah, what have you told him? That I was run off and afraid to go back? Is that how you intend to take control of my home? My life? I'll not have it. Nalia, descend further into these weens of yours, and you shall be laugh the la laughing stock. Come now, our combined names would carry quite the weight. What do you say? I say, I say, take your name and eat it. I'll not be a puppet. Do not anger me, Nalia. I can w help or hinder. I've done it before. Well, now that was a threat. I'm watching you. Best hope I don't find something I don't like. Understand? Kindly turn your eyes downward. Your gaze makes me feel unclean. As for your threat, you should really know whom you are addressing before you do such things. If I wished a scene, I would have flogged you where you stand. For now, I will leave this be. It is unfinished, however. Is it? It is. Okay, so he's gonna leave toward... He's gonna throw, throw himself off the cliff. Yep. He just threw himself off the balcony. Okay, let's have a chat with everybody else and see what they have I'll to say. I need no churlishness, peasant. Nalia, my dear, I must reiterate what a shame it is. Your father is no longer with us. He was a fine man despite his eccentricities. He spoke well of you too, Lord Farthington. Yes, well, mutual respect, despite our little spats. That was the key to his success. My sympathies again, Nalia. There we go. Uh, oh, Lord Dianese did fraternize with... Oh, that's her again, talking about what she just talked about before. Lord Milzin Donderbag. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Strange that uh, more have not come to the funeral. Though the market has fl fluctuated lately and many nobles are absorbed in their figures and books. I would have hoped they could have made it. Made time, says Nalia. Oh, Nalia, I quite agree. He may not have been the most cutthroat of businessmen, but your father deserved respect. Uh, th th thank you for that, Lord Donderbag. My pleasure, my dear, though the honor to say such is mine. I hope I can aspire to ga gauge my integrity by comparison to your father's. You, were you always were one of the most more understanding of my father's friends. I thank you, my dear. Now go, and don't let the dark cloud above this place seep into your heart. Actually, there's a few fumes around, and I must... I'm sorry for that extended exchange, but he is such a bounder, such a a manipulating... Such a... Oh, to Hades with the manners, he is a complete bastard! And calling him that insults bastards everywhere! Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, well, it, do you want me to kill him? Uh, let's see, I don't want to roll... Yeah, is well... Mm. He did say he could help or hinder... And he'd done this before. What, what? What's that about? Oh, what does any of it mean? Asks Nalia. That he's a rounder and were he not the son of Lord Roanal, I would think him capable of anything short of criminal. Ah, uh, this has been too much to take in. <sighs> Let us get away from here and away from him. Lead on. Oh, okay. So she is dismissive of that situation. That's kind of interesting. Did I talk to Ergen over here? I need here? some strong dwarven ale. Damn you for dying, Arnes. You still uh, owed me a keg and a hunt since my last visit. To, you he to your health, wherever you are. Bonchi, is that you? Who would know my nickname? Little Nally Nalia. Oh, you are a sight for my eyes, I'll tell you. Oh, but girly, I'm sorry for what has happened. No, don't be sorry. Father would love that you came. Oh, uh, you scared the nobles or something fierce. Oh, that I do, and rightfully so. Someone has to liberate the people beneath the yoke of the nobles. Soon comes the time to strike. Bonchi? <laughs> Look at him squirm around the room. Oh, I don't mean nothing, but they don't know that. Oh, th thanks, Bonchi. You've made me smile. Then my work is done for the ten day. I will leave on this good note before we start to crying and backstabbing. Backslabbing, I mean, backslapping. Crying and backstabbing, yeah, no, not backstabbing. If you must, Bonchi, safe travels. Ay, I gotta. May your heart and troubles be both light, Nally Nalia. Yeah, good guy. Good guy there. At least he was friendly. 
I welcome you with outstretched hands. Oh, that's hand. the minister. Welcome to this place for this somber occasion. Mingle and celebrate the life of Lord Darnese. He would have everyone speak as, as equals. It was good of you to come, Nalia. I know your father would have appreciated it. Well, I hope so. I'm sure quite a few of his business partners, uh, the partners could do without seeing me. Oh, that may well be, but today is not the time for such things. We are celebrating a life in this place, and all grievances should be put aside. I will try, Minister Adeline. Again, your father would have appreciated it. Wander and speak with the others, and talk of how you felt about him. I have told everyone else to do as much. Your father would prefer the honest talking of friends over pre-written speeches. Uh, can I re-talk to these guys? I'm probably not. Uh, yeah, that's the same as before. Okay, well, that's the funeral right there for her. Let's get out of here. Uh, there we go. That was the funeral of, uh, her father. Not her aunt. Her aunt just died. Uh, Sethly? Do I know you, dude? Do I need to talk to you? I think I need to talk to you. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Yes? <laughs> I ain't got time to talk to ye. If you want to have something buried, you go get the permits and such. Bid it. Oh, is the... This digger. sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. Well, let's see where this leads. Actually, we could look at the map. It doesn't lead anywhere. Ooh, what's the other things? So we have over there the e exit. We have the entrance to the lower tombs. We need to go there. Uh, and over here, we're going to explore the... I guess we're going in. Let's go in. Uh, I oh. Nah, I should be okay. The mummies are a problem, but I do have turn undead. So, I think it will work against the mummies. Let's see, so... I'm gonna go with the turn undead right away. You are gonna... Uh, I think we need to attack. Everybody needs to attack, uh, that guy. I am I, Raven? You are gonna do... You can't do anything. Uh, you're gonna attack the mummies with this. I don't think... They are immune to, to uh, fire, but nothing else. Actually, they're not immune to fire. They're really susceptible to fire. Uh, so I could have... I could have done better than that, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try and kill the mummies as soon as possible. Badly, badly injured, uh, and I'm going to switch my attack to there. Uh, now, actually, your attack shouldn't go there. Anoman, uh, are you attacking? Anoman is attacking, is he? No, he's turning undead. That might work. That might work. What is it now? Turn the undead, dude. There it is. That guy's down. You point. Uh, so we attack this skeleton warrior for right now. Actually, we shouldn't attack the Skeleton Warrior. Um, let's have you both attack the mummy. Because uh, the Turn Undead... Ah, the Turn Undead doesn't work. Why? I mean, it, it, how does it work? It's, you just press it once? And it... Let's see. Or do I... Uh, you can't move. Oh, that's right. You can't move with the Turn Undead. Uh, yeah, what the mummies do is they drain your level. And it's a pain in the ass. I, have a, I do have a, a regeneration spell or a restoration spell. There we go. And the turn undead worked. Let's see. So mummy takes three missile damage from Jahira. Uh, Animan turning undead takes mummy takes ten slashing damage, but not from not from Animan. I don't know what they did, but I have turned this guy over here. I don't. Oh yeah, I, I made him run. That's good. That's good. Okay, so you can stop turning undead and attack. Oh, we fight. Oh, he's on AI, and with the turn undead. Oh, that's cool. That's good. That's good to know. I don't need to disable the AI to to. Um, there we go. A little bit of experience. That was easy. Uh, I really didn't need the turn on dead. That was really easy. Although I am probably going to need to sleep. Can I sleep in here? Let's just save the game because I don't want to sleep in here. I need to rest outside. Okay. Uh, Nalia, that thing lasts forever, that potion. That is awesome. I'm not going to sleep until that is gone. That is not... Let me click. There we go. That is not trapped, I don't think. Or locked. Okay. I was dreading the sound of click. Uh, so, ooh. Tiger Crowry Shell Necklace. That's very expensive necklace right there. The Identify Spell or Scroll right there. Okay, so that wasn't the best of, of, uh, of tombs. But, of course, we're tomb raiding for all things considered. So, let's continue. I think, actually... So, this is... Yeah, that place... Uh, what is this? This solemn monument has been erected to appease the Lord of the Dead. The God Kelemvor. And not Baal. Okay, can I go up here? It's an exit. Okay, I don't want to go up there then. It is an exit? Yes, it is. District exit. So let's go that way, because I think that's the way we need to go. Although we did need to be here at midnight, though, wasn't it? Oh, and a man is still turning undead. Good for you, man. Good for you. Um, in the, well, you're in the cemetery, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, so... Arthur? Hello? Who are you? No time to chit-chat. Alas, poor Jeeves, I knew him. Well, dear, 
Oh, he was a most excellent butler, says Maggie. Oh, not at all like the Jeeves Stavs butler. What was his name? Jeeves, dear. Ah, yes, Jeeves. Our Jeeves was a much finer butler than dear Jeeves. And dear carriage driver, Anthony, uh, don't get me started. Don't get excited, dear. Your heart shouldn't have to put up with such poor service. Try not to think about it. Oh, the quality of his toting was severely lacking. Not like old Jeevers here. He was the most ob 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 obsequious groveler that I have, have ever had the pleasure of being fond over by. Oh, we should get back, dear. The new Jeeves is waiting with, with lunch. Oh, let us stay for a few minutes more. Old Jeevesy would have wanted it that way. Oh, and they're gonna stay. Look at that. They have respect for their Jeeves. Well, let's see if Jeeves is still up and running, because I believe there's gonna be something in here. Oh, uh, not not apparently, not, not according Am to what I'm seeing. Yes, you are. Just see if there are traps. Oh, nice. Uh, of course, she still has the luck or whatever. That looks like luck. It's like it's the same symbol as luck, but it's not. Um, so Ma who's that? Anna man. I think we're, be we're gonna be good. You're gonna switch that to that. And boo stand ready. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Just a y'all gem or a lol gem, but it's not a lol gem. It's a y'all gem. There's nothing here. Jeeves only had a gem. Well, at least he's not a mummy. Let's go. Well, yeah, mummies. Mummies are... I hate them. You can... Yeah, fire damage against them. It works twice. Uh, I think it does twice the damage. It's pretty good. You can kill them with fireballs very, very easily. Uh, so let's see what we have here. This is the catacombs. Finally. The tombs are eerily, eerily silent. Or eerily, eerily silent. Yet you have the feeling of being watched. Be... Best be careful. Traps and dangers abound within these tombs. Every step... Would be your last. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm thinking Every if I can come has his day. to the tombs. Oh, that was a one shot hit. Oh. That was. Oh. Yeah. Disable the AI. Disable this. Enable the AI. And down it goes. What is that? It's a uh, spider. It's a simple spider for 10 experience points. Okay. Oh, no, it's not a simple spider. Get out. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're gonna have Toast Spider. Disable the AI. Shall be fine. Enable the AI. Right there. Okay, that's good. Now, for the fireballs. I did sacrifice. I think I did sacrifice one fireball uh, for, for this. He doesn't have fireballs, does he? Uh, he... Hand the mouse cursor... Uh, I don't think he does, but he has the spell. Why don't I use fireballs for him? Uh, because he's more of a buffer spellcaster. He doesn't have fireballs. No, not that I can see. Nope, they're level 3, right? Yeah, he doesn't have fireballs. I need to get that spell. Uh, but he does have other things I think he's got. No, he doesn't. Okay, just stay there. We're good. Let's uh, cast a couple of fireballs. Oh, boy. But the time is also running out. Let's just do this before the end of the episode to see how things go. Uh, let's have you cast that. Let's have you cast that. And it's all going to be amazing. Oh, boy. There it is. Nalia, get back. Oh, that was overkill. No, that wasn't overkill. Huh. Because there was a sword spider. Yes, there was a sword spider coming in. Did she save the spell? Let's see. So, uh, she didn't save against that spell. Attacks Nalia. Sword spider, death, death. Face spiders. Yeah, they're all dead, I suppose. I mean, you would think. But there'll be traps over here as well. Anyway, this is a terrible place. I'm gonna see if I can come down here before, uh, Major before questing. Here uh, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amn. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!